what it takes to be a pathologist. I decided when I was six years old that I wanted to be a doctor. At first, I wanted to be a vet, but by the time I got to middle school, I switched to wanting to become a human doctor. My name is Dr. Fabia Dubik, and I am a resident physician. My specialty is anatomical and clinical pathology. In clinical pathology, I run the lab and give blood products to people who are in need. In anatomical pathology, I take human tissue and analyze it to come up with a diagnosis. I also get to do autopsies. When I started med school, I wanted to become an orthopedic surgeon. But during my third year of medical school, I was diagnosed with lymphoma, a blood cancer. I was in the hospital for one month awaiting a diagnosis from the pathologist. And it was at that point that I realized that the crux of medicine was pathology. The average salary range for a resident physician is between $50,000 and $70,000. After you finish training, the salary range goes up to between $175,000 and $400,000. So I struggled with math from second grade all the way through college. In second grade, on my first math test, I got a C and I was absolutely horrified. So my mom sat me down and tutored me and helped me get my grades up. And I had tutors all the way through college. In my everyday profession, I do use math. We do serial dilutions that require algebra and fractions. Sometimes we get samples that are too concentrate and we have to dilute it down for the machines to be able to analyze it. So here we have to make two sides of the equation equal. If you're interested in the medical field but you're afraid it's too challenging, I say just go for it. Because even if it is hard and you struggle a bit, it is totally worth it in the end. One aspect of medicine that I really love is that it opens many doors for different job opportunities. So in the future, I see myself in Hollywood as a medical consultant to make these medical dramas a little bit more realistic. My name is Dr. Fabia Dubik, and I have what it takes.